9 o'clock in the morning on October, Tuesday, October 29th, and it's time for uh, this is the beginning. Of, this is the first, <clears throat> and it's time for the first segment of today's BTS vlog. Uh, I just took a break from uh, doing some research, uh, so I'm going to do this now. Uh, I've set things up so that, uh, as I was talking in the last segment before, that uh, I noticed as I was doing. So, as I was doing the production notes for BTS Vlog, that um, I was able to kind of sort of keep track of the work that I had been doing during the day, and I realized that as I was keeping track of this, this work, that it now becomes possible to, uh, to actually sort of observe my schedule, the things I set, and really trying to sort of improve the scheduling uh, of my work uh, so that I can get more done during the day. In other words, get more done during the day. In other words, I'll be able to go back, review the work that I've done, and, you know, in a more organized fashion. So, uh, that's what we're going to do is we're going to talk about in the first segments now. The first segments is uh, the first segment of every BTS vlog. We're going to talk about the daily schedule. And this is the things I plan to do today that are sort of on the schedule for today. Uh, the first of which is uh, working on Insta vlogs. Insta vlogs are the research notes that I uh, that will be used eventually to uh, create uh, a documentary, and it's also for other parts of the uh, of of the uh, research. Now this is where it gets a little um, complicated. Not really complicated, but difficult to sort of explain in, in more detail needs to be provided because in addition to providing notes for the, the for the documentaries and notes for the research uh, the reason it also performs a function that because vlogs are video logs uh, they can be used in much the same way that you would write out a log or a journal if you were a scientist or or, or anyone who keeps keeps a log or a journal so this is where the insta vlogs are going to go to are going to go they're going go, going to be in that sort of that notebook fashion, so they're not going to be formalized. They're not going to be really well put, you know, put together in such a way that uh, uh, they're going to be, you know, finished or polished. They're going to be a sort of a step up from uh, the BTS vlogs. The BTS vlogs are raw and unedited. Uh, the Insta vlogs are going to be raw and unedited, except they're going to be more research oriented. Here we're talking about uh, in the BTS vlogs. We're talking about things that are going on behind the scenes, uh, the scheduling, um, uh, the progress of a particular project, or or not, pro or or the beginnings of a new project, development of concepts. Uh, that's all going to be here. Uh, the actual research when we're taking our notes, and this is where this uh, uh, I have up on screen now, is I have uh, uh, documentaries out there for uh, the quantum psychology, quantum psychology. He is a reformation of psychology based on the principles of quantum mechanics in that rather than doing uh, uh, theoretical uh, psychology, which was which is done primarily out of the universities, uh, uh, theoretical psychology uses theory that leads uh, to ex experimentation. In other words, experimentation is not done to uh, create exploration, but rather to answer and uh, uh, to uh, demonstrate uh, specific uh, theories within psychology. In other words, uh, most academics today uh, are theory-driven and the experiments simply support the theory. So ex experimentation is fit into theory. Uh, quantum psychology kind of reverses this and says that experience leads theory. In other words, it's the experience that allows you to develop theory, not that theory is supported or, or, or uh, theory is supported by uh, uh, by experimentation. In other words, you don't fit experimentations to the theory. You fit the theory to the experimentation, uh, and that's sort of the way things go. And th this is what we're going to do for uh, quantum psychology: is fit the psychology in an observational format uh, to uh, uh, basically a, a, an idea of of quantum physics that. Uh, we have we we can go beyond uh, our own understandings of the physical universe into the metaphysical universe, and 
make a connection between the metaphysics and quantum mechanics. In other words, quantum mechanics and quantum phys physics, the observation, uh, f uh, the observational evidence from there allows us to sort of extend into this this point here, and that's kind of where we're going to go with the uh, ISTA vlogs and research notes. But the thing is, ISTA vlogs, ISTA vlogs and research notes are going to be more than just the quantum. Note. That's just sort of one of the one of the uh, facets of it right now. We are going to get into areas like like uh, news, political science. Uh, there's going to be oceanog uh, uh, oceanographic and, and atmospheric research. Uh, there's going to be geology. In other words, anything that involves the research that's going on here, the different bits and pieces of the research puzzle here, uh, will be brought into InstaVlogs. And you'll see how they end up being categorized uh, as we move on down the line. Uh, the next thing that's up on the schedule for today is uh, work on uh, the university. I still have to work on the admissions and campus portals. I finished the graphics for it, so that's all done. Now I just have to go in and fix up the portals themselves. Uh, that will lead into uh, work on uh, academia, the, the AKU uh, TV, in other words, the university's TV channel, will also be sort of worked on today. And in conjunction with that, uh, because we do have to work on the production schedules on that, uh, that means we'll be working on Cyborg Alpha TV and so to improve the production schedule. In other words, to so make sure that we get our work done when we need to get it done. In other words, uh, we ha I have been lagging behind in my production. The production schedules haven't been as good as they should be. And this is what we're going to work on now is bringing the production schedules up to the point uh, where they need to be. And this is sort of what will be done throughout the day. And I'll come back and uh, comment on things uh, uh, a little later on, uh, a couple hours into the day. And let you know how things are going. Anyways, it looks like we're heading out for another 12-hour day. So we'll see where, where we end up. All right. See you in the next segment. So, as I said before, with uh, new... <laughs> Here comes the mistake again. Let's hope the battery doesn't die. Basically it's noon. I'm going food shopping. And this is the new camera I have now to go food shopping with. This is why I got a new camera to do vlogging with, with BTS Vlogs. And the travel camera became that camera. So anyways, this is my food shopping route. Seen this before. So now it's on, but I made a bit of a mistake. And that mistake was that I forgot to charge the camera and the battery seems to be almost dead. <laughs> so we'll end up having to see what I'm able to film and for how long. Uh, uh, but anyway, if we can get a little bit of uh, filming in with the new camera, that will be kind of a good thing. Anyways, see you at the first stop. Dealing with filming issues is always the case, but once again, <laughs> I'm going to the department store. Here's the department store I'm going to. And once I go down there, I go through, see what's available, and go from there. I just want to make sure that my uh, hand isn't covering the uh, microphone, so the sound records. This is certainly an interesting uh, distraction as you as you walk. to go to these department stores is to get things for cheap and that's exactly what I got so I'm now on my way to TNT and I should be able to remember to vlog when I get there so I'm walking down the street here that's the church that they're building the St. Mark's it's a Coptic Cathedral it's a Coptic church meaning the Coptics are the uh, Egyptians who were Christians way before the Muslims came. So, 
Yeah, so I got this uh, cool little strap thing for my uh, the camera. This is it here. That's the strap thing. I got this once the camera's done with uh, not, and needs to be put away. It can go into there. No particular issues. So uh, I didn't check to see what time it is. But the department store, you know, I usually every, every time I go there, uh, I always get something. So. I'll show you some of the stuff when I get back to the office, but right now I'm heading over to TNT. Okay, so okay, I'm here at TNT now, and I finally remembered to vlog. So this is the shopping mall. I'm gonna go with the Shoppers Drug Mart first and see if they've got anything going on here. And then from uh, Shoppers Drug Mart, I'll check out two of the stores along the way here. Oh, I'm on my way back home now. I keep forgetting to check and see what time it is, but uh, eh, nonetheless, I uh, will sort of give you a view of the whole place. There we go. This is a nice view. I think the image, the image that will, that will come out of here, will be much better than what we had before. And so far, the batteries lasted. So, yay for that. Anyways, see you back. At the research desk. This is an interesting shot. Leaves on the ground. You can tell it's fall. When I started walking this morning, it was really cold. Or at least I thought it was cold. Because when you sit around a lot and your body gets cooled off, it's cold. But as you walk, Things start to warm up, your body heats up, and you end up hot. So, <laughs> but the good thing for the cold is, is that uh, it's rather easy to cool yourself off. When it's hot out, it's almost impossible to do that. So, in terms of walking, cold is better than hot. Anyways, I'll see you back in the place. Alrighty, it's the uh, last segment for uh, the October 29th, October 30th uh, BTS vlog. It's just about 8 o'clock in the morning. And uh, <laughs> what happened yesterday? Oh, that's weird. Anyways, there's another issue with the, uh, the timer. Um, well, so, so what happened? Uh, we're there. What ended up happening is, is when I got back from food shopping yesterday, it ended up crashing. So that left that uh, uh, I, didn't, I didn't get the work done on the university. And I didn't get the work done on Cyborg Alpha in terms of uh, the playlist. But I did actually work on the production schedule and try out some of the new production schedule. It does seem to work better than it did before. Uh, it's just a matter of sort of continuing on with that. Let's we'll try that out again today. Uh, later, or I should say later on today as we get the day started. What ended up happening, and this uh, kind of realized where some of the, some of the uh, issues lie in keeping the production schedule and keeping anything on schedule. And, you know the daily schedule done is that sometimes the research runs longer than expected in other words you find a certain amount of information and as you go through and you examine the information you expect it to take a, a certain amount of time to go through it you understand that it will take a certain amount of time and you estimate okay I will finish at 10 a.m. and you know after, after doing two hours worth of, worth of study You'll finish at 10 a.m. and you'll be able to do some of the filming. So you scheduled the filming. Uh, that's what I've done. I scheduled the filming for Insta vlogs for the uh, cybernetics vlog on this whole thing on, on quantum psychology. I set to do uh, do the uh, at least one segment. And what happened is that 10 a.m. became 11 a.m. 11 a.m. became 12 a.m. 12 p.m. That's when I did the first segment, and after that, I went food shopping. So. Uh, it wasn't exactly as planned. Uh, there was a two-hour delay because 
as I got to the end of uh, the research that I was working on, I ended up finding some more information, more hidden information that I had to go out and get. So, and that go out and get, I meant on the research desk here, I don't mean physically go out and get. And going out and getting the, those extra bits and pieces, which was well, well worth it, uh, took that extra two hours. In other words, I had to add, add, on top of the two hours that, been, that I did already, I already had an add, I had to add an extra two hours to do that work. So uh, that's where the delay comes in sometimes. Sometimes, you know, if, if you're doing that research and you say, okay, I'm going to give myself X amount of time to work on the research. And it, but what happens, if that research that you're doing starts to extend itself, in other words, you start finding more pieces of the puzzle, then you have to go chase those pieces of the puzzle. You have to go, you have to go get them while they're still fresh in your mind, while they're still there. Because sometimes it's, it's, this information that you have to go get isn't always there all the time. Sometimes it's there for a bit and, and, and it's deleted and you won't get that piece of information again. So you have to go, when, when you see it, you have to go get it. And that extends your time that, on your research desk. That extends the amount of time that, that, you, that you plan to do. So if you plan, say, to do two, three hours at, at a, in a chunk, and all of a sudden you start finding extra bits and pieces that you can go out and get, and say, oh, let me go do that before I do anything else, well, you could, you could blow six hours just like that. And that's kind of what happens is that, you know, six hours will disappear chasing down leads, chasing down bits of information that will add into what I'm working on. So... Uh, this isn't something that's kind of, uh, <laughs> uh, productive for if, if you want, if you want to be working to your schedule. In other words, if you're a schedule, schedule-minded person, you want to be always working a schedule, then this type of research, open-ended research, where you are, you have no idea what's going to come in when, uh, really isn't <laughs> good for your schedule, so it's not going to be uh, what you need it to be. Uh, so that's kind of what happens, and then afterwards, uh, like I said I went food shopping. But the thing is, if you spend uh, anywhere between four to six hours straight on the research that you do, you work straight, and I can't remember when I, how much time I spent doing that research. Uh, when you get up, you're dazed. You, 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 there's a mental fatigue that sort of sets in. And then when you go walking, I do food uh, with food shopping. It, it, I left at 12 o'clock. I got back around 2.30, 3 o'clock. That's a three-hour hike. Uh, I had food on my back in the backpack, and you'll sort of see this in the you'll see this in the video. video. Uh, in today's video, you'll, you, you'll, you would have seen that. And... Uh, it really does take a toll on you. So, when I get back, when I got back, by four o'clock, the crash set in, and that was it. Uh, and I think this is well. I say that that was it, but more does go on during the crash. I do get up in in periods and do extra things, but I haven't got to the point yet, point yet where I film these things. So. Uh, we'll see what happens if I, if, if I try to start filming them more so that you can see more what happens in between these crashes. Uh, but uh, that being said, uh, we're going to start the day all over again in a couple, uh, in a couple hours. Uh, I just got to do some cleaning up right now. And then uh, once the cleaning up is done, uh, the day will get started again. And uh, we'll see what we can accomplish today. All right. Take it easy.